Hi everybody, I'm Terry Stiles. Welcome to Orion Neighborhood Television Studios. And we're doing our second episode of Lake Orion Memories. And I am with John Ranville, Rosemary Cole Ford, and Kathy Hoxwell McMinn. And I'm Terry Stiles, I already said that. Um, we had so much fun the last time that we were here talking about people's memories that John went around Lake Orion and gathered some more people. So I think we're going to keep doing this and we'll give you a clue at the end of this show as to what our next topic is going to be. John, you want to introduce Rosemary and Kathy, talk a little bit about yes, their we, history? Yes, we also had one more guest that wasn't able to attend today. He, we wanted to get some people that lived out uh, from the village out in the township, and uh, I contacted uh, Bill Dunn. Uh, he's a township resident forever and ever in the Bunny Run area. So uh, uh, he wasn't able to attend today. So we have Rosemary Cole Ford here with us, longtime resident. Uh, parents were very involved with the, mm -hmm. the town community mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. businesses, and uh, mm -hmm. Kathy. Hoxwell McMinn, a school teacher, singer of all of our national anthems <laughs> at the memorials, and uh, uh, we'll start, oh, John Ranville. Yes, uh, yes. Last time I didn't give my little spiel on uh, my memories of Lake Orion, <clears throat> and uh, growing up uh, off the Heights Road, our, my playground was, uh, throughout the community, there were certain areas that had certain names that I don't know where they came from, but uh, there was some big stones at the bottom of the hill, <coughs> mm -hmm. and uh, that corner was called Greystone, and mm -hmm. that's where our beach was, mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. real sharp curve on Heights Road, yeah. and our playground was from there to the boat club, to, which is, uh, ooh, I don't know the name of the store now, Rick's Party Store. Right. Yes. And, it uh, used to be Vans, Vans. wasn't it? Vans. 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 It was a yeah. little yeah. pink building. And pews, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, pink. But Vans. that was our swimming yeah. uh, area. <laughs> and uh, actually, we would, uh, different groups of my friends, we'd get together and we'd go to Kelly's Park. Is oh, gosh. A mm -hmm. Famous beach in Orion. Down uh, Heights Road. Yeah. Beyond There's Pine Tree. There's another beach that was at the end of King Circle. And, oh, yeah. Uh, and then we Sunset had Bellevue, Beach, yeah. I think that was called Sunset. Oh, yeah. I, I wow, that's Circle digging Sunset. deep. <laughs> King Circle uh, Sunset, yep. Yeah. There was a little is. beach with a high dive at Park Island. I re remember that. I went there a couple times. Oh, gosh. And of yeah. uh, course, Greens Park. Uh, that's where I learned to kind of learned how to swim. I took my uh, Red Cross lifeguard training there. <laughs> and uh, other beaches, oh, uh, Long Lake. Country Club. Oh, heck yeah. Bunny Run. Bunny, Bunny Run, Run Country Bunny Club. Run Country yes, Club. Bunny Run Still Country there. Club. But that's what we did during the summer, and uh, uh, I was on youth uh, <coughs> uh, baseball, and we played, we had three or four ball fields in our uh, area where we lived. Uh, one was at uh, Lakeview and Heights Road, the corner right there. It didn't have to be oh, big. Yeah. We were kind of small. Right, yeah. Uh, there was one on Bellevue where the low park is, just going over the hill. Mm -hmm. uh, that was small, mm -hmm. uh, but we were small too, so we didn't hit it far. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, next to Greg Mann's off of Pontiac Street, uh, just up the hill, he had a pretty big area. So we had uh, neighborhood uh, teams. Uh, sure. We played against right. uh, th all the guys on uh, Elgin and uh, heights, oh, okay. and uh, we travel yeah. all around town with our, uh, the fathers would drive us, and uh, we'd play against different neighborhoods, but uh, that uh, got involved with the the gun club uh, that was underneath the wagon wheel, the old wagon oh, wheel. Oh, the old wagon wheel. I just learned that. I <laughs> the old wagon wheel, yeah. And then somebody mm -hmm. said there was a bowling mm -hmm. alley. There were three lanes. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Oh, well, I don't know. Uh, I've heard there was a bowling alley yeah. down there, but uh, I think I've never I think seen so it. So you're talking about the wagon wheel that the was old. the theater at one time? No. Mm -hmm. Which no. wagon wheel? The one where that twice was Where Twice now. Blessed is. Got it. Okay. We're cutting the edges right there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, the one downtown. Yeah. It's yeah. called Twice Blessed now? Twice yeah. Blessed, yep. Yeah. yeah, I always read the water meter, so I was involved with the gun club up until the early 60s and uh, went to work for the village in the late 60s and uh, never saw a bowling alley down there. Uh, 
and then started reading the water meters every year for 30, 40 years, so I never saw nothing down there, but uh, it could have been. Uh, and your winter playground was probably all the way over to Indianwood, right? Because you could skate all over the lake. That really broadened things for all of us who lived on the lake. Well, my playground for skating, we had uh, three major swamps in my area. Uh, as you know, Lake Horn was mm -hmm. a wetlands, <laughs> and uh, we had some big swamps, and we'd build our forts and our rafts and uh, float around in the wintertime, it'd freeze over, we'd skate there. Mm -hmm. uh, we'd skate on the lake too, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but uh, more so, it was more quaint s skating around Staying the bushes. Close to there. Home. Oh, that was fun too, to yeah. skate around those uh, it bushes. Was, uh, it was fun. We'd build fires down there or, or have a lantern it was uh, it was nice uh, what else did what I What road were you did you live on John? Uh, we lived at the corner of uh, Allen and Summit. Oh okay. Summit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Right there. next to where yeah, <coughs> there used the to be a uh, building and I have been digging into the history yeah. and I can't find any uh, pictures yet. Uh, I went to Oakland County uh, historical society and they were looking it up to uh, it was called Lake Orion Country Club and that's what our subdivision was called mm -hmm. Lake Orion Sub Country Club subdivision it was mm -hmm. ran actually <coughs> from uh, M24 down Clarkston down Heights to uh, Merritt. Uh, Merritt was the street mm -hmm. next to the party store on, on Clarkston, Clarkston Road. Yeah, Henford so, was in there too uh, in yeah. Oakland. Wow well, that's street, a good yeah. size Country club. Yeah, that's that's a, Isn't that's that funny big. how Lake Orion yeah. had those club areas, yeah. like Bunny Run Country Club? Mm -hmm. Well, when you type it in, uh, what comes up is either Bunny Run or Indianwood Country Club. Oh, yeah, that's so, true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, Scott Taylor, he's got that sick pizza place. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He uh, yeah. sent me a picture of a sign he bought in a garage sale that says Lake Orion Country Club. It's is made that out of wood. Right. Wow. So, so I got pictures mm -hmm. of it. I, I'd like to buy it from him. He probably only paid five bucks. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, he's got that. So I know it existed and it was <clears throat> right next door. So wow. uh, that's growing fascinating. up, we called the people aunt and uncle. You know, uh -huh. that's how you do it. Oh yeah, yep. that's, that's how you did it back did. then. Yeah. Yes, did. Uh, for sure. So, Rose, you um, were raised in the village, right? Yeah, I'm born You're a village County. girl. Mm -hmm. yeah. And your family, was your dad um, president of the village or was he well, the he mayor? Well, he was president for a while and then they changed it, or Manager. he was mayor, and then they changed the title to president. To president. But he was on the council for... Ted. Ted yes, Cole. Yes, Ted mm -hmm. Cole. Yeah. And he was on the council for 27 years. Wow. And of that, 18 of it, he was mayor slash president. So wow. that you know, he yeah. loved it. It was his hobby. Yep. He knew that charter inside and out. Yeah, he did. Um, I remember I had an uncle, one of my dad's brothers, that was up and came to one of the meetings, and he looked at us and kids, and he said, "You kids ever been to see your dad at those meetings?" And we're all like, "No, nope. we just thought <laughs> they're dad boring." Just went to that the was it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we went, yeah. and it was really interesting because a lot sure. of times. If people had questions, he knew it so well. He could say, you know, yeah. page so and so, article so and so, item number B, and that would be wow. it. Where the rest of them were all searching it through. Sure. It was just something that he really took to heart. And yeah. John knows because John was working for the village. Yeah, then, so. he was and a my good mother guy. Worked for with him as well. Yes. Yeah. So you know, and then my um, with my mom, she was really involved in the community as well. She, I can Sweet. remember, which yeah. you probably remember, remember March of Dimes? Yeah, well, sure. of course. Mm -hmm. I can yeah. remember my yeah. mom one time, I guess, must have been the chairperson mm -hmm. for that area mm -hmm. because all March these women came to the house. And you don't, you don't see it anymore, which is, it's how our society is. Mm -hmm. But they are all given those little bo cardboard booklets. Yeah. Yes. And you oh, put yeah, the yeah, dimes yeah, in the little slots. And we all, yeah, 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 we all have those. And so yeah. she was giving yeah. everybody their station. So That's cool. But she, yeah. they used to have a garden club because remember when they used mm -hmm. to do the flowers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on the medians on M24? Yeah, and it sure. was so pretty. Mm -hmm. So I, she did that. I have that. movies of, uh, I don't know if Benita was in there or not, but I remember uh, Mrs. Hoxwell, uh, I think B. Hogue, 
uh, oh Mrs. Young. Yeah, oh, Jeff's wow. mom. Yep. And mm -hmm. there was uh, Marion. Yeah. It was a spring yeah. mm -hmm. flower show at Bland Sims, mm -hmm. and my my, my dad mm -hmm. must have been filming it because my mom was in it. And, mm -hmm. and uh, but yeah, it was a yeah. woman's club. Yeah. Uh, and there was another woman's club too. Child the guidance. School of the oh, Child Guidance Child was guidance one who had the swim lessons at Green yes. Park. Yeah, they, Park. They, they oh, my yes. mom was in. Yes. I think all the same <coughs> groups of ladies were in that one yeah. too. Uh -huh. And yeah, mm -hmm. I got I got films Back of in the that, 50s. that uh, really spring so concert. So I've been I'd meaning like to, to make that, some John. CDs and yeah, get them I'd out love to, to see that. See that one, you guys. Yeah, yeah. very. So nice. Rosemary, your mom is Benita. My mom is Benita. She worked at. For many years, she worked at a shop in town called the Sweetheart Shop. Oh, mm -hmm. yes, she did. And that was owned by <laughs> well, Elizabeth Edmund. When we were little uh -huh. girls. And Going into the Sweetheart Mrs. Shop. Mrs. Edmund was just, uh, she was a sweetheart. And I always remember because she was short. <laughs> yes. And just, she was all, yeah. you know, yeah. just built just mm -hmm. so. Yeah. But because she was so short and little, she wore a lot of bracelets. So when she walked in the store, <laughs> oh, you always knew she was <laughs> yeah. around. And I can remember because my mom started wor was working there and I started kindergarten. So when I was done with kindergarten, she would have to take me to the shop. Oh, I yeah. would sit in the mm -hmm. back with coloring books or whatever. Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, she worked because the store was open till six. Mm -hmm. So I can, that was kind of a. And the store thing. was located? Broadway Embroidery. Where Broadway yep. Embroidery is. Mm -hmm. Embroidery, right. Mm -hmm. Before Sweet that was a shop. yoga shop. Down yeah. by Lake Run. And Kelso had a shock, right. soccer had store. Had his, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But mm -hmm. she, you know, yep, that's back in those days, every, I mean, your children wore health techs and carters, and she carried all those lines. <laughs> she carried children's clothes and women's clothes, yeah. and and um, yeah. young young girls because mm -hmm. she carried. Who didn't wear Bobby Brooks growing up, right? Yes, of in course. college town, I don't think John did, but yeah. well, yeah, no, right. because they didn't have <laughs> men's they stopped, clothes. No, they didn't have men's clothes. They stopped when you know they only did. She only did children's boys' clothes, and um, but no, my mom worked there for a yeah. long time for her. And then she also worked at Dancer. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yep. And, uh, and she so also Nobles. At Nobles. Right, I was going to say, didn't yeah, she, she work at Nobles, Nobles as yeah. well? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And that was Knox Noble Street. Suburban. Right, right on the yeah. corner. Yeah. Noble yeah. Suburban. Yeah. Across yeah. from what is the pizza place now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Betty's place. Because mm -hmm. my mom worked there and she did the same thing. Mm -hmm. We'd go after school, we'd go in the back yeah. and bring her coloring That's books and her snacks. And you were allowed to do that then. It was bring your daughter to work day every day, right? That's just what they did. Where did you say Noble's were? Nobles was up in Oxford. Oh, yes. So well, she suburban. started <coughs> across from the, um, the the pizza place, the S oh, Little, little Caesars. Caesars. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that was her It's shop. a hair <coughs> shop now. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, that's where Smell Betty started. Mm -hmm. Oh, And no, then she moved right. to she Oxford. Mm -hmm. uh, Hazeltons yeah, because it was, was a sweetheart Hazeltons shop. Hazeltons was down. Where yeah. right. locale is now, that was Hazeltons. Yeah, Hazeltons. Oh, right. And yes. Shop. Remember, because I was at the varsity jack. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. So. Yeah, there was a lot of clothing stores really? downtown Lake Orion. There was also Hillers. Mm -hmm. Hillers. Hillers right. on the yeah. corner there. Fine Before it was clothes. Cummings yeah. Hardware. Yeah. It was it was Cummings was Hardware. Hardware there. My oh, grandpa wow. worked there. And yeah. And with his cousin, yeah. We and just then, ran uh, into a lady in the in the hallway. She worked there forever. Oh, Patty Loda. Yeah. Patty Loda yeah. worked oh. at Hillers oh, for yeah. years and years and years. That was she was very the, nice. Yeah. I'm sorry to see that go. Oh, yeah. A fine man's shop. Yes, it was. Yes, yeah, that was sad. It's a nice yarn shop mm -hmm. now. But yes, it is. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. I worked part time it. at the Green Hippo, and a lady came in the other day, and as soon as I unlocked the door, she was right there, and I was like, oh, my. And she said, I'm here for a sale at, I said, Heritage Spinning and Weaving. And she goes, yes, you know it. And I said, Yes, it's right down the street. <laughs> and she said, you know, I've been going to the shop I work in. I've been going by the store and I wanted to. But she said, she doesn't open till 11 and I need to kill time, but I want to get there right on time. <laughs> <laughs> she she was she, from, she's an articulate thing. She was she? from like an hour and a half away. Oh, wow. So, so I know that need to do Joan does quite a, yeah. a business. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Right. That's a destination great. shop mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. And she was a yeah. weaver. She also did weaving in. Oh, how interesting. Call, I don't know, weaving, weaving and she did at a loom. Or is that oh, the same yeah. thing? Yeah, moving. The loom is what she weaves on. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, right. That's, that's <laughs> what she was there to get. So, yeah, that was kind of neat. And Kathy, Very you are also a village child. I spent most right? of the time in the village when I was growing up. I grew up on High View, which is now Hinford, oh, off right. Clarkston Road, right in the right. country club there. But I remember when we were young, because our parents were friends. Yes. And 
um, Allen and Sherry Drive in Pontiac were briar fields. There were no houses there no. Oh, at all. Gosh. So we'd we'd take a walk through the sandy yeah. briars, nice. and our horses were yeah. there on on a uh, high view. Awesome. And then they turned, um, they renamed it Hinford. Then we moved to Indian Wood. We, so we were country oh, okay. kids the rest of the yeah, time, but okay. but grandpa and grandma were in the village, and that's, that's where we spent most of our time. We were always in the no, village. Your your neighborhood was called what I had heard, and and throughout the community mm -hmm. there was different mm -hmm. neighborhood names. Mm -hmm was Hungry Hills up there for some reason. Oh, really? I don't know. Oh, I didn't know, know that. <laughs> Did well, you say Hungry? Hungry, yeah. hungry Hills. Yeah, hungry Hills. Well, I didn't and, hear uh, that either. John Winter Subdivision, Winter Subdivision. Winter so Sub across them, okay. 24 there. Hungry Hills, Bunny and Run Country Club yeah. area. Uh, but Alan and Sherry, that that was the person, the man who bought Al, his name was Alan and Sherry, oh. daughters and everything, uh -huh. and I don't know why they changed it, but hmm. uh, I moved to Indianwood when I was in third grade, but I remember, of course, Blanche Sims School, yeah. and what a what a heart heart melting time when uh, we were getting a new school. But yes. I was fine till they took the chimney down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's heartbreaking. When they took the chimney down That's from Blanche Sims, that, that really <laughs> made it permanent. Yes. But well, you know, that was the hub. No matter where you lived yes. in this community, was there was always an event mm -hmm. at Blanche Sims. Yes, right. It, uh, and yeah. even clubs would have events yeah. there mm -hmm. that I think impacted all of us. Yeah. The parade remember, started there. Uh, the parade oh, yeah. started all there. The and we got started our vaccinations there. there. Yes. Yes. What, yeah. uh, what was that one that was always in the spring? They had a fair there. Remember? Oh, at oh, the they end did. of the school year, they yeah. were always at and they still oh, do. Yeah, yeah. Big, yeah. huge. Uh -huh. it, yes, it, it was, was a great yeah, social yeah, event of the yeah, of the it was. It really yeah. was for the mm -hmm. whole community. I went to mm -hmm. Weber, but we we had we'd go to the events the, that were happening at Blanche Sims. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, my grand grandma lived right on the corner where my sister lives now. They built a home right on Florence Street. Oh. And uh, Hoxwell Drive is named after my of grandfather. Course, yeah. He was the village president. And when yes. he retired, they thought, well, we better do something. So they named <laughs> it <laughs> street, uh, right the street. On, <laughs> and you're right on, well, kind of on the corner of yeah. Hoxwell and Shadbolt yeah. there. But uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. best childhood memories of course, are in the village, yeah. mm -hmm. are in the village. Uncle Jack and Lou Kaler, not oh, aunt and uncle really, but they were my dad's yeah, and they mom's right best friends. Street and he was with, the fire uh, chief with, and the uh, little Pilates studio was his uh, was his <coughs> grocery store, the Sheldons on the corner of the oh restaurant. Gosh, I can yes. remember Sheldons because I do my too. dad yes. also yeah. drove school bus for a while. Yeah. And so oh. after school yeah. on some days, I would have to ride with my dad on the school bus. And then after he yeah, got done, he'd take it to Sheldons. Everybody, <coughs> apparently, when they got done with their shift, would all go to Sheldons for coffee. Mm -hmm. oh. And so my yeah. dad would, I'd tag along, and Mr. Sheldon would say, which, you know, growing up, we didn't have. You know, you didn't have treats. pop and ice cream treats no. in your yeah. house yes. unless no. your mom right. baked <coughs> something. Right. So cookies. Yeah. So Mr. Sheldon would ask Chocolate me, and he'd milk. say, "Would you like a bowl of ice cream?" Now, granted, I was small, <laughs> but it seemed like they were like Hershey Kisses because they were big chunks of. Oh chocolate yeah. oh in this my gosh. bowl of ice cream. <gasps> mm -hmm. And so I would just mm -hmm. sit there and be in heaven while mm -hmm. all these They're chatting, uh, chatting, chatting away. <laughs> I was happy as a clam. Chocolate you know, the, milk and, and glass bottles. I remember bottles the, was the oh, Mr. floor Shelton. of that place yeah. the most. Yeah. Yeah. That's the card shot now. The card baseball shot. Prime card shot. Yes. Uh -huh. Prime, right. Thank you. Yep. And uh, Mr. Hacker's shoe store. Oh, oh Harry Hacker's. Hacker. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. you two might remember this. I didn't. But Lynn was telling me about this. Terry, I don't think you and I Kathy, you might not. <laughs> Lynn said she can remember going to Hackers when she was young, my older sister, and that you put your foot in a box. I was there. In a box. It was yeah. an X-ray. And they take, yes. they did that, slide. yeah, they did that for dancers as well. I was there, yep. they had one in mm -hmm. dancers I know, too. I, I you know, that. people have said that, and I don't remember in yeah. dancers, but Harry's yep. for sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And I that's where Elvira's, wasn't yes. Hackers, Elvira's. where Elvira's yes. fashion was yes. right yes. there, uh -huh. and, mm -hmm. uh, the answers was uh, Johnny Constra Blacks and yeah. the mm -hmm. L-shaped. Yeah. And then there was yeah. Van Wagner's Drugstore. Yeah, and Grinks. And, Grinks. and yeah. I can remember, because I worked, mm -hmm. I my first job was, mm -hmm. first real job was at Van Wagner's Drugstore. I was 15. Oh my and gosh. I used to laugh because, remember it had a front entrance and a back, mm -hmm. yeah. where Hanson's is now. Mm -hmm. It still yeah. has the original terrazzas yes. floor, mm -hmm. <gasps> but their motto yeah. was mm -hmm. the store with the two glass doors. You remember thinking, yeah, so? Yeah. <laughs> that was the motto of their business. But that was the big thing. <laughs> yeah. It must have been. Entrance, two entrances. Yeah. And yeah. Then yeah. Griggs mm -hmm. was yes. the opposite. 
So yeah. I used to go to Griggs or Van Wagner's. Yeah. I always went to Van sure. Wagner's yeah. because yeah. your older sister worked there, and Lynn. so did uh, Debbie Curtis. Uh, and I think Barb Curtis worked there too. Debbie probably. One of the gals from uh, uh, Birdie's Dime or the Dime Star. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, Diane. Hippo. She married uh, Diane. Bud Garcia. Yeah, right next to Hippo. Oh my gosh. Diane? The empty part there. Woodward? Was her Latin mar wait, uh, maiden name Woodward? I just remember Beth. Diane. That's what. Oh, that was Diane Birdie. <laughs> yeah. oh, I remember right. Diane working right. at Birdie's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was yeah. Diane Birdie. Yeah. 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 Was right there. Yeah. yeah. I never sure. went to Greg's Didn't much. Uh, the, the little old lady that worked in there, not little, but she was tall. She was close to six foot, gray hair. I remember her old. too. <laughs> but you know what I learned is when you went to Van Wagner's, if I got 10 cents, I would go down there and I would get a five cent bag of Fritos and a five cent root beer <laughs> and I would dip my Fritos <laughs> into your root beer. Root beer. Heck okay. yeah. <laughs> so then my friend Nancy Young, who lived on Shorn, mm -hmm. she said, let's go over to Griggs. Well, you know, you got a little glass of root beer for five cents and a bigger glass would be, or no, Prices went up to twelve cents, I think. Oh, okay. that later. inflation! This was later. Then. This was later <laughs> elementary, yes. <coughs> and at Griggs, <coughs> you got the big glass for twelve cents. And so I was you like, go to Griggs. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. well, the little old lady that lived there was Janet Stanabeck. Oh, yeah. Stanabeck. And her oh, husband yeah. was a yeah. disabled vet, yeah. and they lived in the house that I'm in now. Mm -hmm. Well, my dad and Clark Stanabeck were because they were both veterans. He'd go over and, and talk with them mm -hmm. and uh, sit on the front porch where I sat all the time. And uh, yeah, I remember that yeah. house going over there when I was little. And, and uh, we ended up buying it. And now it's and now it's Ron yours. Allen ended up with a house, mm -hmm. and I bought it from Ron Allen. Yeah. Yeah, I've been there 50. So, yes, Rose, John yeah. was talking yeah. about his playground. Because you were downtown, were the <coughs> stores your playground or? I know there were a lot of kids there were a lot in of the kids. downtown area. Yes. What the did you all do? But, you know, across the street from us was a family named Gneskis. They mm. had eight girls. Oh my goodness. Oh, those poor yeah. things. <laughs> and we, we, they had eight and we had six, so we missed wow. a few. But we were connected with everybody. So Gneskis had a double lot, so we played in Gneskis' yard uh, a lot. Kick the can and all yes. that. Yes. Yeah. And flashlight mm -hmm. tag. Beautiful. And then oh, we would go over to... Spin the bottle. <laughs> no, <laughs> back then it was that still was a cootie stand. Yeah, <laughs> so you did. and we would go to Myers' yard yeah. and Bert's yard, and we play flashlight yeah. tag. And Billy Myers mm -hmm. taught us how to play Piggy Wants Emotion because they they must have been from the South or something because we were all like, "What is Piggy Wants Emotion?" But we learned to play it. We would play in Page's yard, Patty Page. Oh yeah! Wow. Okay. And Forget they have a, they have a double lot. And then we would play at Trinan's, which is the house I live in now. Oh. The side porch, I cannot tell you how many times we would play board games there, especially on a rainy on day. On a rainy day. Because sure. it was screened in. Screened yeah. in. Beautiful. But we would do that. We would beautiful go to, porch, yeah. um, you guys probably all remember, Wes and Phyllis Allen. Oh, yeah. sure. And Mr. Yeah. Allen had an insurance agency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Mrs. Allen was gracious enough to let us kids in the neighborhood, we had to call and ask for permission, but she would let us come and swim at their pool. Oh my well, gosh. the pool was rectangular and it was great. And then um, if she gave you permission, you could go and swim. But then, th then you saw the railroad tracks. So when the train would go by, we would mm. always wave to the guy in the caboose and he'd always wave to us. Oh. And then we swam at Greens Park in oh, the summer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like most, were good, yeah. most good of us times. took swim lessons yeah. there. Yeah. We had a Sweet diving board back in the good yes, old days. Yes, sure did. I can remember Tom Berger was a yeah. lifeguard there, right. but I can also remember really? one summer, it was such a hot day, and there were tons of kids using, and it was a piece of wood with burlap or something, some kind of ropey type mm -hmm. fabric that would keep you from slipping, but it got so mm -hmm. wet, and Tom was, you know, he was, <laughs> I think, well, he was older so he had to be in high school he's um he graduated in 67 mm -hmm. okay yeah. 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 so he was went to do this dive and there were so many kids on it that day and so what 
that it snapped. Right when he went up, the thing oh my came goodness. down and the thing snapped and broke up. But I can remember the village. Oh, then, the diving board? The diving board. Oh, yeah. And wow. the village would replace it just like that. Yeah. And then we had a high dive. So the thing that was. That was a rite uh, of passage. That yes, high dive was, was a rite of passage. Not. It was. <laughs> that was like How many summers I said, I want to go to the People would yes. dive off the side of it. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. We, and then you'd yeah. swim over to where mm -hmm. the diving board was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. but back like now, <laughs> the swim area is U-shaped, where before it used to be T-shaped. Mm -hmm. So there was the small part. Oh, yeah, for the younger kids. Then oh, there was yeah. intermediate. I remember and those steps. The big, big yes. deep end. And then Junior the life saving. Yeah. High dive. Hot yeah. dog. <laughs> life was great. Yeah. Now, yeah. It you was. probably remember at Greens Park, apparently there was a, Lynn and, my, and Douglas said there was a concession stand there. Do you remember that? Linda. Behind there Probably. was, and it was behind Dr. Sabato's office. Yes. Yes. Because yeah, that was right that. on M24, and then Dr. Sabato's yes. was right. Well, Sidewalk. But you, because yeah. when I, yes. I know there was a pavilion. It was like a lean-to or shed, yeah. like was a little it? shed. Okay, because all I remember is the cement slab that it yeah. must have stood on. Yeah. There was a Where's parking lot right that now? was cement the as well is. for Dr. Sabato's. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you'd go to Robert's mm -hmm. Rendezvous. If you had money, you'd oh, bring yeah. your lunch because oh, yeah. you'd stay all day. Yeah. Sure. And then you'd go to Robert's Rendezvous get some and get yeah. a cream soda. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Or a push-up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 What was your favorite thing that you did? We have five minutes. Oh, well. And I don't want to ignore you. Lansom's Playground, of course. yes, of course. And those slides that got so hot in the summertime. Yes, they did. <laughs> that Grandma Hawks will make sure we had a little bucket of water to take with us oh, that we could put down the side. But my playground was on Indianwood Road. And I yes. grew up kind of on a farm. We had horses and chickens How and everything. We were almost to Baldwin Road. Oh, okay. Right by the yeah. factory there. In fact, oh, I yeah, retired yeah. from Paint Creek Elementary, which is yes, right at, almost across. So, so oh. we, our playground was kind of the... The, the hay how of the barn and, and uh, the oh, fields yeah, yeah, and everything. Yeah. But right. we spent most of our time in the village. You know, it was just uh, our church was there and our yes. grandpa and mm -hmm. grandma and mm -hmm. cousins on Axford Street, those Hawkswell boys. And, I was uh, going to say, if anybody <laughs> lived in Lake Orion for any amount of time, yeah. they knew a Hawkswell. The, yeah, there were, there <laughs> we were a few of us around. Said, <laughs> so I'm in England, and we were, often yeah. said it's either England yeah. or Hawkswell. That's yeah, right. right. So <laughs> I'm so I, blessed. I tried so to get Steve to set in on this, and he was just... He's doing some part-time work, and yeah. he's just mm -hmm. too busy. Yeah, well, so. well, he'd be Maybe a fun next one. Time. He'd be There's a fun so one many too. memories that there all are, of us have of every age group. So that it's so fun to sit and talk mm -hmm. about the memories. Mm -hmm. I, yes. I have the same kind of memories. Yeah. Fortunately, I lived all over Lake Orion. My parents were the yeah. original fixer-uppers. Yeah. So yeah. I, I remember that diving board. I remember mm -hmm. the rite of passage yeah. on Bunny Run mm -hmm. and being able to that go on that. That slide's still yes. there, by the, the way. The, the same I'm slide at Long Lake. Yes, it's, the same it's one. still there, How the same it stand one. Up? <laughs> well, they get it inspected <laughs> every year because I ask the same thing, Joe Nutt. So, oh, yeah, it? they take care of that. But it's the same there one. There used that, to be dances there on That's Friday nights. When we were kids with Aunt Junie. Thank, well, thank you for, for joining us. us. And thank you yes. so much. Well, it was fun. It was great. You're, you're so we're not done. We young have old friends. <laughs> more coming. It's um, going to be an ongoing program. It's just not going to be a regular thing. But keep an eye on Orion Neighborhood Television. I want to thank everybody at Orion Neighborhood Television for hosting this show. And they're working hard, volunteers, etc. Um, editing. Joe does That's the editing. Great. It's yep. really great. Thank you for joining us. And we will be back. And go Dragons. Go Dragons. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you.